So you guys, I am coming to you with some great, great, great news. It's been a long time coming, but the city stopped playing with me and they actually gave me the approval for my certificate of occupancy. Ooh. So it's official. I am going to start the whole um, process of buying furniture and now I can like woosah because in the early in part one I was like a little down because I'm like they keep giving me the run around and keep playing but now I'm like I'm hype again like I'm excited again I'm so ready to get going and I'm just so ready to like open up the doors I just got a lot of ideas for this store not just the store itself but like I want to like decorate it to where I can shoot more YouTube videos so I can finally start coming back to YouTube. I can start doing like um, business videos and I can start like I can start doing what I wanted to do like for the entire time of me starting my YouTube channel. It's finally coming to fruition and I'm finally going to be able to start making the content that I want to make. Like I'm finally walking into what it is i'm supposed to be doing and it's just coming together so i just praise i just thank god for everything that he's been doing for me these last couple of months because these last couple of months i literally went through something got through it and been leveling up ever since and it's just been no backpedaling and i just been all gas so i'm really souped up I'm really excited excuse the tv you know, I have a little three-year-old, so all channels in the house be on cartoons. Just keep her quiet. But I'm excited, y'all. I'm really excited. Excuse my glasses because I've been looking at the computer screen all day, and I actually wear glasses now, so that's wild, too. But walking into 30, this is what's happening. Glasses and new stresses and just... 30 is 30 is coming in with a boom so i'm excited about that also this year i have a lot of trips planned up so i'm excited about that this year is just gonna be so amazing like this is gonna be a year i remember for the rest of my life 30 2022 is an amazing year it already started out amazing and i'm just if that's the beginning who knows what the engine is gonna look like. So I'm just here for the ride, here for the ride. But enough rambling because I can keep rambling all day long. Oh, and if you aren't following me yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified every time I drop a video because I'm going to continue dropping videos and continue updating you guys about this journey in entrepreneurship. Um, it is not easy and you really don't know what you're going to be doing, but it's something where you just have to, you just have to go along with the ride and make conscious and smart decisions because it's so easy to make one bad decision in business. And I won't say it's a bad decision because it's a learning process. You learn what not to do, but it's so easy to, you know, be up here and then you take a hit and now you're down here. So now you got to figure your way back up. So if you want to see my process and who knows where I'm going to end up. But if you want to, if you want to take the ride with me, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Okay. I'll see you in the next clip. So good morning. Today is... January 10th. It is 10:51 a.m. Okay, so the city just called me and said that they need um, a letter from me telling them exactly what the business is going to be because, as y'all know. I am trying to get the certificate of occupancy so that way I can start moving in and we can start like getting a show on the road so I can start, you know, making some money because right now I'm just paying rent. So now I have to 
write a letter to the city telling them what my business is, what my business is going to be doing. No, 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 no. What my business is, what my business is going to be doing. Um, so that way we can get like the approval process going. Because, but I'm about to write this letter. I'm actually using Canva for um, a letterhead because if you're writing letters for business, you should be putting a letterhead on your letters. And if you don't know what a letterhead is, let me show you. This is a letterhead. Your letterhead has your logo. Um, you can either put your business name in regular font or you could just have your logo. I do both because it just makes it easier for people to see. Um, it has how they can contact your business, your business address, phone number, and business email. And then this is the body of your letter. So so whenever you're doing business, ladies, always make sure you have to write, you know, papers and everything like that from your business. Always make sure you are using a letterhead and Canva makes it so easy for you guys to do this. Like you can edit it, put pictures up there, but you don't need pictures, but it's just so much easier in Canva. Just use Canva. This gives your business a professional and this goes with your branding. Like your branding must be equal all across the board. So use a letterhead. That's all I got to say. Process for me is really mind like boggling because this is not something that I had expected to do for, this happened in 2021. So like December 17th, something like that, I got the key. This is not something I expected to do in my journey until probably the end of this year, 2022, or next year, 2023. Um, because me, I like to do things big. If I can't do it big, I don't want to do it. And that's something that I'm trying to get out of my mind because you have to take small steps. And me, I... I know it's good to take small steps and this is something that I teach in the Boss Academy, but because I be having it so mapped out, and that's another thing, nothing's ever gonna go how you have it mapped out, ever. But because I be having things so mapped out, it's like, I know I'm so close to getting there that I will wait. But I realize I'm just gonna allow myself to grow as I'm going through it because this is only going to help me for when the big thing actually comes. I'm already going to be prepared and know how to run a big situation because I have this, this small situation to help me get there. You get what I'm saying? Like all the obstacles I run in with this situation, when I get to the big one, I'm going to be well prepared. It's, that's going to be no sweat off my back. I'm not even going to like flinch. I'm already going to know how to handle the situation. So that's why I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and sign the lease. Oh, everything just lined up for me. It was super easy. And I was like, just let, let me just go ahead and do it. So I did it. I did it. And now I'm going through the process of learning about certificate of occupancy, learning how to deal with the city, learning the officials in the city. Like I'm, I'm being connected with the people in the city. So that's why, you know, it's good to start small. No skipping, no skip. All right, so I'm gonna give it to him, and he's the one that approves it. So, okay. because um. Come here now. Come That's here. That's your daughter? Yeah. Uh -huh. I had to bring her because they're um, homeschooling. Mm -hmm. Because um, this is something about if it was a showroom and you want to show people there's no place to park. So he's the one that will have to approve it, okay? That's what's probably... um. It's no place to park. So you're saying they can't park on the street? I'm going to let him explain it because it's in a residential area. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a business there, that may have been something that was grandfathered or they went before the board or, you know, or, um, or maybe been there years ago. But that's why he wanted this information. This process is just too much for me. Too much. Come on, baby. Go ahead, press the button. 
So now I just dropped off the letter to the department, the building department for the city. Mommy, can no, I just visit? one time, that's it. That's the other door. So I just dropped off the letter for the zoning department of the unit, the commercial space that I'm trying to get. So now I have to wait and see for the approval, but hopefully they approve it. It would be better just going over top of just painting this. I mean, because this is in good condition. It just needs some, you know, it just needs to be tacked. Yeah, it needs to have bubble. So, so I would want to paint it white. You want to paint it white? Yeah. So it would basically everything would be one color? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's Just white. Yeah, that would that would be that would be pretty easy. For me. And how much is that? Oh, uh, it's just everything's gonna be one color. I'm gonna pay for two. Two hundred. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. So it is eight. 53 in the morning today is uh january i'm about to say december january 13. so we're about to start painting today um the the store is like a gray color on the walls and i don't want that color so we're gonna paint it white i just want white um, i want like a really clean type of vibe and everything else will be the decor so i want the walls white i want a white base um so the guy who was gonna paint he wanted to start painting at like nine o'clock but or eight o'clock but nala has homeschooling right now due to covid her school decided to do homeschool so i told him that we have to do it at 10 because she gets she has homeschool from eight to nine for like an hour and then they come back on in the afternoon so he, I had to push it back, but this is what we're doing right now. So I'm about to get ready. She's actually in the living room doing high school. Let me show you. Hi, apples. Hold it up again, Journey, so we can see. And Miss Robinson gonna take a picture. Beautiful design, Journey. Beautiful. And it's just like the shirt that you're wearing, right? Hi, I'm calling for uh, Mr. Kamal. Uh, Kamal is out right now. Can I take a message for him? Yes, this is Atiya. Um, I was at your office before the holidays. Oh, yes, yes. Hi, yep. 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 Um, I was just calling um, to let him know that I got their certificate of occupancy. So I wanted to, you know, inquire about the pricing for the measurements and everything that he did. Okay, okay, let me, so uh, he, did he, get, he gave you anything? No. Yeah. Oh, what's the name of the business? Intense Beauty. Okay. Okay, let me have him call you, that would be the best. Uh, okay. What number? number can he reach you at? Okay, yeah, yeah. Is it the one you called me from? The... Yeah, 908. Small on my phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I will have him call you when he comes in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, You almost finished? Yeah. I still don't want to up some more. Okay. So, where are we, Nala? At your store. Yeah. We're at Mommy's store, and it's this car that... So, if we had a little issue. The issue, not a little issue, because if they do it again, um, I already got the okay to go ahead and get it told. 
So I have a parking spot that comes with my store and it's this car every time I come here. So because of the holidays and everything, I wasn't really here. So I guess they said, you know, nobody is here. So I'm gonna use the spot. So they've been parking in this spot, which is my spot. And now I'm here. Now I got the, you know, okay from the city. So now I'm ready, I'm here that I had, um, they painted today. I'm actually sitting right in front of it. They painted today and this car is in my spot. And I left a note for them earlier. So I come back and the note is gone, but the car is still in the damn spot. So I called the um, property manager and I told her exactly what happened. And she called the person who it is. And they said it was their son. The son is in school. So this is the son's car and um, he can't move it he don't have to i guess the father whoever the parent doesn't have a key and i'm just like yeah okay that's some bs because for sure if that car is there and you're the parent and your son is in school you have the daggone key but the property manager said um when he gets out of school he's gonna move the car and she said if they do it again call the police and i was just like that's all i need to know you only gotta tell me one time because i wrote on the paper i was like if you park here again i'm getting it told so the fact that she told me call the police sis that's that's all i needed to hear um but so sitting around me and nala have been riding around doing business getting everything done so we're about to see what the new paint job is looking like i just wanted them to paint it white um it was gray um on the walls and i don't want gray on the walls i want it white and bright so when i go in and i start putting up my shelves and everything because all of my stuff is going to be white my shelves um the cabinets everything's going to be white so i wanted to blend in with the wall and i wanted to look real clean and bright so everything's going to be white um and i just can't wait to see what it's going to look like when it's finished give me a few seconds and i'm gonna show you you drink your juice because i was drinking my juice huh yeah So you say, let me drink my juice too. <laughs> you are funny, Nala. You can reach my shovel. All right, come on, let's go inside. Is he had a walls up painted? Yeah. I can't wait to see how the walls are painted. Me too. All right, put your mask on. Let's see what they looking like. We're gonna stand outside. We're not going inside. No, don't go inside. December 15th it's about 6 9 p.m. and here we are checking out the store this is my first time inside the store since it's got painted white what do you think do you understand my vision so let me tell you my vision so here are the walls from gray to white now the, my vision is I wanted them white because I'm going to put up white shelves. So I want the shelves to be able to blend into the walls. So that is why I have them white. Um, white just gives it more of a cleaner effect, a cleaner look. Um, and it just blends. It doesn't, you, get, you don't get that feeling of... It just it just looks seamless so i got everything white i got a satin finish it's not glossy because i don't really like glossy walls it's just white 
plain satin satin um so that's that so next thing comes putting up the shelves and then we get to the fun part so it's about six o'clock at night right now and um i'm in here by myself i'm about to go pick up my daughter but now comes the fun part now comes the part where i spend all of my money to decorate this place now comes the part where i go home tally up that's what i'm going to do tonight i'm going to go home tally up everything um see what it's looking like when it comes to like furniture then when it comes to inventory then when it comes to um signage because that's included in my budget i have a budget for this place because it's not that big and i don't want to really want to go too crazy it's unnecessary um because this is just a starting point so this is my first location this is not something where i put like you know thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars into this place because this is the starting part this is for me to get my feet wet to see what it's looking like to see how it is to manage a store and from here that's when i be like you know i go all in all out you know dump thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars but we're not doing that just starting out because i don't even know what it's looking like and that is a no-no in business don't go like don't go stupid dumping all your money and you don't even know what the outcome or how it is or how to like do something so we're gonna go smart this time okay if you learn anything from me be smart um my budget is about 25 thousand for this place including inventory and i will hope to stick to it we shall see so it's january 19th i'm back at home depot because i actually want to paint an accent wall now before I was thinking I wanted it all white. Now the white is in it. I don't really like how it looks. So I'm gonna be covering up the white with an accent wall. You'll see. I can't decide which pink I want. If I want, oh, 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 driving. If I want this one or this one, I can't decide. Let's see which one I come up with. Let me see what it looks like. Because I really can't decide. I don't want it to be too pink. And I don't want it to not be too pink. I think that makes sense. You can't see because this lady is blocking. But she just put it in the machine. She's behind her. Can't see her. She decided to block. So this is exactly the color that I wanted. I am so happy I chose the right color. Exactly the color that I wanted. Only thing is, I just hope it comes out on the wall the right color. But that's exactly the color. 
So right now I'm looking for the paper that you put up in the window um, when you have a commercial space so nobody can see what you're putting inside. rack up some money at Home Depot. So I bought two gallons of paint. I bought some of the brown paper that goes on the window so that way when I start putting in my furniture and everything um like people won't see that I'm putting the, the stuff in the store um and I brought some tape so I'm about to go and drop it off to my handyman that I got doing all of my work and then I'm going to go look into shelves. I'm not going to look into shelves today. I'm going to go look into shelves um, this weekend, Friday and then I'm going to go buy some shelves. Uh, when I get home, I am going to look into ordering my cash counter, my, my checkout counter and then I'm going to look into ordering um a, a rug a logo rug and then I'm gonna look into ordering curtains so it's finally finally about to start happening I'm about to look into ordering all of that stuff and like I told y'all I had a budget for this place so what I'm gonna do is because I can't like pinpoint the price of everything because it's just gonna be so many little pieces to it what I'm going to do is just keep a tally of everything. And once I start approaching my budget, then I'm going to start like, like calming down on the certain things that I buy. So that's the way I'm going to do it. But I have me a to-do list because if I don't have a to-do list or if I don't write down everything I have to do, I forget because I'll be doing so much. I forget and it's just not going to get done. So because I need it to get done, I have to write it down. So... So let me give you the story. I originally wanted it to be white, all white, the whole thing white. But because when I finally saw it white, I was like, this ain't it. Like this ain't it. What it looked like in my head, then it wasn't like that in reality. So I had to think about what I was going to do. So instead of it being all white, um, instead of repainting the whole thing, I'm going to put a curtain up. And then I'm going to put up a flower wall on one wall. And then on the other wall, I'm going to have him paint it pink. So that's going to be the accent wall. And then the shelves and everything is going to be white. So it's going to come together. And then I'm going to paint the bathroom pink. Um, the bathroom, I hadn't, he hadn't touched that at first. But now I'm going to paint it pink. So that way, everything just comes together. Because originally, I was thinking like the bathroom don't even matter. That's the bathroom. But the bathroom does matter because it's the whole experience. So I'm going to have him paint the bathroom pink to match the accent wall and so my color scheme for the store is you know black and gold because those are my business colors and a uh, accent that I throw in there is pink and white so black gold pink white those are my colors my branding colors primarily um pink is the accent color pink brings everything together pink pink lightens everything up and black and gold just screams luxury so and white breaks it all up so you need a little bit of white space when you are you you need a little bit of white space when it comes to like colors because 
having too much color and not enough white to break everything up and make everything blend it just causes confusion for your customer so you need some white space that's just an fyi even on your website whatever you do make sure you have something in there that's white to help ease the eyes and the transition when it comes to different areas on your web page or different areas in your in your content or anything like that in your store everything i always tell people you need white even if you don't think you need white you need white so whenever you're picking your branded colors make sure you throw white in there you can't just have all color that's actually tacky imagine you're looking at something that all you see is color it's kind of like oh my god it's too much color you need some white in there as a neutral base okay so i just pulled out the parking lot and we are headed to the store good thing about it is my store is literally right around the corner from home depot so if i ever need something right around the corner from home depot target best buy everything everything is right here so i'll come back once we get into the store he's about to paint literally today and i'm looking rough i actually need to get this hair washed and reinstalled and flat ironed and everything so i'm looking rough as i'm running around doing all of this stuff because i don't have time to but it actually is holding up this wig is holding up y'all so i love this color everybody loved this color on me and i actually loved it it grew on me i was just trying it because it was a fun color it's like a pink it's not really like a it's a magenta color so the color i use i actually use magenta so it's a really really nice color i'm thinking about this being my color for the year actually so the next style i want to do is either going to be a ponytail or a curly style with this color because i love curly hair that's my go-to curly hair is so easy straight hair gets flat so quick curly hair gives you a longer last and you can camouflage the lace like you don't have to glue it down all the time you can actually pop it on push down some baby hairs and you good to go you don't have to glue it all the time with like straight hair you have to make sure it looks good all the time and i don't really have the time for that my life is too busy for that and i don't like wearing glue all the time it irritates my skin after a while so curly hair be my go-to so i'm thinking about how i can make this a curly curly style like i'll be wearing my beauty curl texture my beauty curl texture is the, my go-to curls so i'm thinking about um my vendor offers beauty curl in like the curly texture i just have never had the time to try it out before i actually sell it but i think i'm gonna try it out this time in diet red that's what i'm thinking about but i just pulled up Now I'm about to take the stuff inside. So I just pulled up. He actually finished painting. So let's go see what the pink looks like in the store. If you can't see, I'm smiling right now. But let's go see if this smile sticks on my face. Let's go. It's open. Let's see. Oh, you put up the paper? Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Oh, you didn't do this side. So this is the pink, you guys. I think it looks really good. I think it looks really good. And... Here's the bathroom. So I did half in the bathroom. And then on the walls, I'm going to put wallpaper. Now this ceiling is high, super high. I'm gonna change out this light. I might take that off, cause you don't need that. And I actually like it. 
I like it a lot. Is this a medicine cabinet? It sure is. We don't need this. I'm going to wind up taking that off if I can. And this is going to be, it's going to be nice. I can see it. I think it looks really, really, really good. I'm excited. material I have to buy to put on the wall and I was measuring um over on a pink wall because that's where the shelves are going to go I was measuring to see how many shelves I would need and how long you know how much it would be how long how much space it would take up on the wall so before I forget because I forgot to bring a pin inside I need to run out and um to my car get a pen and paper and then I'm gonna go Oh, I also need to measure the, um, something, dust is in my eye. This place needs a really good clean. It's very dusty. I gotta measure the bathroom to, to know how tall the wall is for me to put wallpaper. So, I'm gonna do that, and then I am gonna go. I'm gonna go, and everything is done for the day, and move on to another day. I said, you know I gotta vlog. Hi, baby. Hi, mommy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so today I, I'm coming to get um, blinds. I want to look for some curtains and I want to look for some shelves. How many shelves do you think I need to get? I don't know. We got to go look and see. I don't really know yet. We got to look and see. How many shelves do you think we need? I'm trying to figure out, do I want to do shelving for the wig or just shelving for the hair? Bundles. You need where are you going to put the wig stands at if you don't have a shelf on? You need shelving for the wig too. If you don't, where are you going to put the wigs at if you don't have shelves? I'm talking about the kind of wig, the kind of shelving. Like if I want like open shelving or if I want something like, you know, box. Yeah, cubby holes. Yeah, yeah. You can have cubby holes for the wigs, but you gotta have them big enough to fit the um the the, the head. See, yeah, they have to be big enough to stand up, like to to for you to put the entire thing inside. Yeah, I know. Seventeen inches. I brought a, a, a measuring thing. How tall is the wig? Seventeen inches. High. Yeah. So you just have to measure the inside of the cubby hole <laughs> to see. No. <laughs> no what, Nala? Eyes coming off. It's old. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's old. It's gonna come out. You can do it again later. Are right, you ready? How many you need? Six. <clears throat> Hurry up so we can get something to drink.
today we are going to put up these shelves on this wall and then i was on youtube um not youtube i went on instagram yesterday and i asked everybody to help me to choose what color flower combination i should be putting on this wall right here and i'll insert a picture and show you guys the two options that i gave them and everybody pick the most pink ish color combination and that's not the one that i wanted to go for because this wall is already pink i don't want it to be like my colors my branding is not pink per se my branding is black and gold and white and hints of pink that is my branding for intense beauty so that's why i did this wall and the color combination that I actually want to choose is the one that people did not choose. <laughs> so, the one that people did not choose, which is like, has um, hints of green and, and beige, cream, or whatever you want to call it, um, peach and pink. So it's a, it's a combination, but that's not what the people liked. And I'm feeling like my mother made a good point. She was like, people don't already know that I have this wall pink already so they're just basically picking it off of you know the pink that they know i would like but they don't know that i already have this wall pink and that's where the shells are gonna go so i think i'm gonna have to i think i'm gonna have to um you know make make an executive decision on this one y'all and I, i'm gonna have to go with the option that y'all did not choose i'm gonna have to go with the opti option that y'all did not choose because I should have made it clear that um, I already have this wall of pink and I don't want all of that pink. I like pink. Look, I got on the Boss Academy. I love pink, but I don't want all of that pink for this brand because of the age group that I target and the, the coin that it costs to afford my hair. They don't like all of that pink. So y'all, I have to choose the other one. So it's coming together. The shelves are going up. So it's going to be four rows. No, uh, three rows of four. So he has some more to do here and four more to do there. And then we're going to be putting this curtain up over here. And then we have the shelves, the, ca the dresser so I could um store some stuff in there and then my cash counter is gonna go here couch here flowers there these are the rest of the dresses and stuff um i want to put a tv on that wall oh sorry um and whatever else comes comes but for so you know so far that's it you bumped me <laughs> Uh, and that's it. You like it, Nala? Do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the black curtain that's going to go on this wall. Hey, stop before you hurt yourself. Um. Yeah, that's it, you guys. And then I think I'm gonna put something over here. Not sure yet, um, but it's coming together. Then I'm gonna put the hair here, and then I want to put wigs here. So I'm gonna order some wigs, and I'm gonna put the wigs in the middle, and I'm put hair here, hair here boxes boxes and we're gonna we're gonna set it up it's gonna be good i'm excited i am excited okay now let's see you ready intense beauty showroom is coming together so here we go this is the shelves that are up so i already have an idea what i'm gonna do he finished the dresser where I'm going to be storing all my hair for now. Then he has to put up the curtain. Um, 
because he said he couldn't figure out the, the extended wrap. He's going to put it up because I showed him how to do it. And we changed the bathroom mirror. So we have this mirror. And that's it for today. So the wall is about complete. I just have to stock up. And then we're going to go to this wall where I'm going to be putting flowers on it. Um, then couch, then um, rug, and I'm getting a cash register, and then the little knickknack accessories, and that's about it. And I'm going to put like plants and chairs over here. I have two ottomans that I could put over there. And that's about it. And I think I'm going to put a TV up there. And that's about it. I keep saying that's about it. But yeah, that's really about it. Then we done. Boop. Bam. That's it. is it this is the new spot intense beauty has its new spot and i cannot wait to decorate it i can't wait to put my signs on the window and i just can't wait for 2022 like this is didn't like i said this is not something that i was expecting to do in 2021 but we here i don't sign the lease and now we here so we about to i just can't wait I can't wait for you guys to see the space turn from this to like what I got planned for it. Cause I got some, I got a lot of stuff planned for it and I just can't wait. So this is day one. This is December 20th, 2021. So this is gonna be a 90 day process. My launch, my, um, what you call it? Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Not launch date, but like my opening date, I picked March 20th, which is the first day of spring, March 20th, 2022. So 3 2022, that is my gonna be my grand opening day. That's gonna be, I gave myself 90 days to get everything going. So now I am in the process of trying to get the certificate of occupancy because you have to get a certificate of occupancy when you get a store or yeah, when you get a store, that's what the sign person told me. So once I get that, he's gonna be able to put the sign on the outside and everything. Uh, and then I'm gonna look into alarms. So this is a process. It's not like you're gonna be able to just get a key. Then I gotta put a battery in that smoke detector. Then you, you can't just get a key and think you're gonna move in. No, you have to get a certificate of occupancy. So I'm learning as I go and I'm sharing it with y'all. So December 20th today, 2021, and y'all just stay tuned for the rest of the process.